Hey guys, welcome back. So as promised, welcome to a brand new series on the best applications for your Fi Stick or Fi TV or your second generation Fi TV Cube. Now in each episode, I'll cover five applications and you guys can let me know in the comments below which applications you did like and more importantly, other applications I should be checking out for the next episode. So with all of that being said, let's get started. <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now the first application in the list is called Haystack TV. And as the blurb says, this application is perfect for your local news, world news, weather, gaming, and just so much more guys. Now, especially in the current climate, everybody is literally just watching so much news, trying to get the latest updates. And this application may just be perfect for that. In fact, why don't you guys leave me a quick comment below and let me know which country you're watching from and also how the has impacted your country, just to see exactly the impact around the world. Okay, so when you start the application for the first time, this is what you'll see. Now, it does give the option to sign in if you want to save your preferences, but I've personally been using it without signing in. So let's click on Get Started. Let's get started. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you is what kind of topics you're currently interested in. So we can see by default, you already have current events selected and also science and technology. Uh, but because I'm also interested in some gaming, I'm going to click on that and also business and finance. Okay, let's now click on next. It then shows you your current location and allows you to follow certain sources. So um, I'm going to follow uh, CNET, uh, TechCrunch, uh, Channel 4 News, and NASA TV. But of course, guys, the options are totally up to you. And here we can see it now tells you that you can actually save your preferences by logging in. But I'm going to leave that as is and click on sign in later. And here it is, guys. We now have this beautiful interface and we can now access all of this great content. Now, at the top here, you've got the current headlines. So you can cycle between different channels. I can click on this, for example. That shows me that there. Uh, you've got some other channel sources here. On the left-hand side, you've got the current category. So I can go to business, look at the business type content. Uh, you've got science and tech, uh, current events, gaming. Let's have a look at gaming. Okay, so we've got some uh, Xbox news here or Xbox trailers. But we can see, guys, pretty much one click and you can start enjoying all of this content absolutely free and it works really well and it works great with the standard remote control. Uh, let's get to the left here. So here you've got some of the trending topics uh, like this obvious one here. You've got editor's pick, so this will show you some of the best content that's currently available. A section for this, here you'll see lots of uh, great trailers for the different content that's out there. And on the bottom left, you get to see the current weather. So overall guys, it's a very nice application, works really well with the standard remote control and it's called Haystack TV. And that's the first application in today's list. The next application in the list is called Virus Total Mobile. Now for the guys that have got eagle eyes, watch what happens when I open this application and tell me if you can see what the difference is. I guess I click on scan because I'm sure you've seen other videos with other people talking about this application on a fire stick. But when TD UK starts the application, what happens? Did you see it or did you not see it? Well, for the people that don't know, this application actually requires the Google services framework. And if you don't have that, because obviously that's not available on the Amazon Fire Stick, you get an error message. So if you guys are interested in that tutorial on how you can get the full Google services framework running on your Fire Stick or Fire TV, then definitely do subscribe guys and hit the notification bell so you'll know exactly when that video drops. I mean, to be fair, on this particular application, all you get is just an error message that the framework is not, not available, but allows you to use the application. But there's millions of applications out there from Google that because they don't see the Google services framework, they just terminate so you can't use them. But with this fix that I'm working on, you will be able to use all of those applications. Okay, so Virus Total is definitely a great application and allows you to scan all of the applications you have installed on your device, especially if you are installing applications from different sources, or shall we say, you know, unknown sources, like maybe, you know, random websites or maybe people's filing stores. I mean, even a trusted website could be potentially hacked and somebody could upload malware. And if you now download the application onto your device, then your device would be infected. Then potentially there could be, you know, data mining you, there could be hacking your credentials and so on and so forth. So what this application does, it basically scans that content and makes sure that there's nothing, you know, dodgy or malicious in there. 
Now, typically, when you do see something that's bad, it will come up with a warning because this actually has multiple scan engines. So it's not just one particular antivirus engine it's using. This is using about 65 different antivirus engines. So if there is something malicious in there or some malware, you have a very good chance of actually catching it in here. And when you click on it, you get to see a full report. Actually, here's all the engines here. So we can see, you know, AVG said it was clean, Adware said it was clean, Avar said it was clean, and so on and so forth. Now, it is worth mentioning that you may occasionally see, a, you know, a false positive, and that's where, you know, if there's like 65 different engines, but only one is saying potentially bad. I mean, if it's only just one out of like 65, then more than likely the application is safe. But if you have a couple of different engines all saying this is potentially malicious or has malware, then I personally would just remove the application. And in fact, there was a popular streaming application that was found to have lots of malware in here. So, so it's always worthwhile doing a regular scan of your device, especially if you are installing applications regularly. So I would just have it as a set procedure that every time you install a new application let's go and do a quick scan of the application and make sure there's nothing malicious in there so that's the second application which is virus total mobile now this application really does have a ton of great features everything from looking at your local file system onto your fire stick for example here i can see what's in my downloader folder here's all the applications i previously downloaded and if i want to delete something i can for example just press and hold and I get the option to delete. So very easy to manage and manipulate your files on your Fire Stick. That's one of the first things you can do. You can also highlight multiple files. I can go over to Mark Files over here. And now I want to remove this Team Viewer and also this one and this one. So I now have three files selected. I can go over to the right, click on Delete, and I've now instantly deleted those three files. So really guys, this is a fantastic file manager, but as I previously mentioned, it also has some great other features. One of the other great features is we can access DLNA content directly from this application. So if you have maybe a Plex server in your house, or in my case, I've got a NAS drive, because of that NAS drive is actually a DLNA server that allows me to stream content to any device in my house, including this application. So if I go into that now, we can see I can now browse all of the content I've uh, previously purchased that I'm sharing on my home network. So if I just try one of these here, click on this file, uh, within one second, guys, literally that starts playing straight away. So it is a great way for you to access content that you have already on your network, but you can access it directly from this application. Now, the last cool thing we can do in this application is access web storage. Now, what that means is if you have access to a Google Drive or Dropbox or Box.com or any of the popular providers, you can actually link that to this application. So what that means is if there's any application or any APK that I've saved in my Dropbox or, I mean, for example, Google Drive is totally free. So you can get up to, I think, five gigs of storage. Now, if you link that to this application, you can now copy APKs directly into your Google Drive and you can access them from here. Let's go into the web storage, click on add server. And here we can see guys, so if you had a Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive, any of the popular cloud providers, you can link that in here and access all of your cloud storage direct from your Fire Stick. So this is really a fantastic application guys and I'm actually surprised it's totally free. The next application we have is called Amazing Classics. And once again, this is also 100% free. And what this application allows you to do is to access some of the older, or should we say classic content. So when you start the application, you get to see uh, this menu here. So here we've got the editor's choice content. Uh, you've got what's new. You've got action adventure, comedy, documentary, drama, uh, film noir, horror, thrillers, science fiction, and TV series. And you can also search here as well. And let's have a look at documentary. Okay, so you have uh, lots of content in here. So let's say for example, I'm interested in the Hawaiian volcanoes because why not? So let's click on that. And now we can just play the content, we can see more info, and this is ad supported, but I've never actually seen an advert, but let's click on play and let's see if I see something now. So you can see guys, no trailers, and the content starts pretty much straight away. And that's working great, let's back out of that. So that's in the documentary section, and you also got drama, film noir, and so on and so forth. Lots of great content in here guys, it's all 100% free, uh, some real gems in here, and all of it working with the standard remote control, and once again, it is ad supported, but I've not actually seen any um, adverts yet. Now the last application, or is it really an application? Um, should we say it's a game, is called Stranger Things. Now I'm sure you've all seen Stranger Things. If you haven't, then definitely watch it. It's fantastic, especially if you're around in the 80s and you know early 90s, you'll get a lot of the references. So this is a completely free game that you can play with the standard Fire Stick remote control or a game controller if you have that. Uh, but for now, just click on OK. So you have to put the remote control in a horizontal format and then just control 
the directional pad like that. So uh, let's just go for normal mode. Okay, so that's me uh, at Hopper. It's 1.35 in the morning. So you can move around by pressing up, down, left and right. And you can interact with objects by pressing the play button. Okay, so the phone is ringing. Who's calling me at this time? Okay, so it's late. This better be good. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Right, it's Flo telling me there's an emergency. Four children have gone missing. And it's Sabai's boy and his friends. Okay, let's go and help them out. Okay, I'll look into it. All right, so let's see how we get out. Um, okay, so we've got the big arrow there. Let's go down. <laughs> okay, great fun. Okay, so I've got some uh, energy there. Got that door. Yeah, so it is kind of like an adventure stroke puzzle game, but what sets it apart is obviously you've got the great story from, you know, Stranger Things, but you can also play it with the standard remote controls. And let me now show you how you can install all of these applications on your device. Okay, so to install any of these applications or all five of them, if you just go over to Downloader, and we're going to make a connection to my website, which is http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk, that's me. And the number is 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, you want to go over to the hamburger menu. And in there, you'll see there's a section called tutorials. Because what I've done is I've actually created a dedicated tutorial for all of these applications. And I will be creating a separate post every time I do a new episode. Now let's go over to tutorials. And the first tutorial you'll see in the list will be the top five applications for five sticks for the month of March. Let's open that up and let's scroll down. And here we can see we've got the top five applications for the month of March. Uh, we've got the application name there. We've got some information. We've got some uh, screenshots. And then you have a direct link to actually download the application. So let's say, for example, we want to download uh, the Explore File Manager. Let's scroll down and we click on the download button then scroll down and then click on the green download button. And I should then start downloading. Let's give that a second. And let's now click on install. And of course you can follow the process for any of the other five applications in this episode. Now let's click on open and that's working absolutely fine. So that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. I hope you did like episode one of this uh, new series. And if you want to see episode two, then please do hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know exactly when the next episode drops. Aside from that, if you did find this video useful, then a thumbs up will be most appreciated. If you want to see more stuff like this, then you know the drill. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.